Hello and welcome to another episode of the Stress Ebook LLC um dot com stress ebook dot com's uh, free series of videos. Uh, in this video, we are going to cover the manufacturing process of a honeycomb core, and um, which is the most complicated part of the panel manufacturing process, um, in my opinion, because that core. Uh, is the one that provides the uh, the rigidity for the panel in, in the outer plane direction. Now, you can see in this image uh, there's two different um, methods shown uh, of making the honeycomb core. The top method, which I will try to move my mouse over so you can see this method up top here is called the expansion process, typically used for non-metallic cores. And the bottom part here is called the corrugation process, typically used for metallic cores and mainly aluminum cores. Now, the top method usually starts with a roll of uh, aramid fiber reinforced phenolic uh, paper, if you will, uh, or fiber, which is also known as Nomex. It's a Nomex core. And then the bottom here is uh, basically a roll of aluminum clad 2023 or, or or something that 6061 or something like that uh, which forms the core of a, a honeycomb panel made out of aluminum. Uh, in this video we're mainly going to focus on the expansion process which is for the non-metallic uh, Nomex panels. So let's start here with the with the roll of uh, aramid fiber. Now what happens is this uh, sheet dimension is determined by the manufacturer typically but it's a pretty big uh, sized sheet and um, there would be probably standard dimensions for that sheet and then what happens is this sheet is passed through a bunch of uh, glue uh, pens you know in a roller so these dotted lines you can see here are, are basically glue lines that are going to keep the core I mean the, going to glue the, uh, the core sheets together uh, in the beginning of the process and then in the next block here this is called hobe block which is honeycomb before expansion okay so um, honeycomb object before expansion or various terms are used for the hobe block uh, because this is before expansion now each of these sheets each of these uh, layers is uh, is a sheet that is cut into predetermined sizes and then each sheet gets a top coat of these lines of glue and then each sheet is placed on top of another sheet and and so on and uh, the number of sheets uh, is decided uh, based on uh, the final size of the of the uh, raw material of the honeycomb core so you know it may be uh, I don't know 200 inches long or or maybe six feet long whatever the size is that determines how many sheets go into this block all right so once that happens then they are cured basically so when it's cured these glue lines harden and then everything is glued together nice and uh, and hard and then this block is cut into the desired thickness uh, of the of the honeycomb core now typically you know you have honeycomb panels anywhere from uh, one eight I mean uh, the point three seven five inch thick to one and a half inch thick panels. I mean, one and a half is kind of rare, typically used in, in big bulkhead panels and, and so forth. Uh, and also it's typically aluminum, but typically for Nomex, uh, you can get up to an inch is, is very common. So uh, this T is basically the, the core thickness that goes into that panel. So usually it is reduced um, by the thickness of the face sheets that go on this side and on this side of the final core but I'm, I guess I'm jumping ahead so let me step back here and let's stick with this guy alright so now that now that you have a thickness of the core uh, desired thickness of the core then what happens is the top and bottom are held on either side and then the whole whole block slice is expanded so this top is pulled up this bottom is pulled down and then this thing is expanded and then um, once that happens then you would have a resin material which uh, is is um, 
a matrix, uh, I'm sorry, a resin material which is uh, either uh, phenolic or epoxy or something like that that goes on top of, of this expanded hope slice. And once that happens, then that hope slice is, is cured again and dried so that now this is more rigid and you know, this one holds up as a, as a, as a block like that. And then uh, that, that's how you have at the end the honeycomb core. All right, so now let's talk about these L's and W's. Okay, what is L? L is the strong direction of the core, okay? Over here you can see it is the length of the roll, but at the end, as far as the properties of the honeycomb core uh, are concerned, L is the, is the strong direction of the honeycomb core and W is the weak direction of the honeycomb core. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna try and draw a sample uh, panel here, here, here real quick. Now let's say this guy here is the sheet and then you have your core and then you have another, right? Uh, you can't see it here, but you have another sheet that goes on top of this guy, all right? So this is your core, right? And then in between this face sheet and the core lies a layer of adhesive, structural adhesive. Same thing on the bottom. Between this core and this face sheet lies a layer of a structural adhesive. And then the face sheets are typically made from, for Nomex panels, they're made from, um, they're made from uh, phenolic resin fiberglass uh, cloths. Uh, and, and that's typically known as 7781 plain weave or or something like that it's uh, basically a fiberglass cloth okay which is impregnated with either a phenolic or a or an epoxy resin and then it's hardened okay and then when they uh, call a prepreg when they say it's a prepreg what they do is they they attach a a sheet of adhesive to this prepreg which is basically ready to go uh, into the manufacturing of a sandwich pan. So that fiberglass cloth which is pre-impregnated with the resin material and also on the on one side it has an adhesive uh, and then it is cured as a nice rigid sheet and that is called a prepreg. Uh, now this and this on one side is typically about point, um, point zero 0.02 inches. Uh, usually it's it's 0 0.01 inch per ply and you could have any number of those sheets as needed but typically anomics panels come with two plies on one side uh, two more plies on the other side so basically two plies means two sheets of the fiberglass cloth uh, which are again uh, glued together using a structural adhesive uh, with the core between the fiberglass cloth and the core and then the whole thing is pressed in an autoclave um, oven together and, and cured for at least 24 hours for it to be uh, a good quality uh, panel. So uh, so that's it folks, I mean that's uh, a summary of how these honeycomb panels are made. Uh, you can see uh, I mentioned about the L and W directions. So here again, if you flip this on its face and uh, put it horizontally, then we can see that um, in this case, uh, this would be your L direction and then this uh, would be your W direction, all right? So what happens is, as far as the core is concerned, and even the panel, if you have a, a load, um, a, a shear load that is kind of like that, if you will, you know, it's, it's like that on a long beam bending test, then then this type of loading is, is loading the, the specimen of the of the long beam bending test specimen um, along the the W direction or normal to the W direction. Now, if you can think about this along this L direction, you can see that there's a continuous um, material going on here. Okay, um, because you have this here, and then it, it continues, uh, and the material is is continuous as opposed to the W direction. Uh, which is only being held together by these by these weak uh, bond lines 
and these hex- hexagons um, are able to collapse uh, you know along the w direction so they don't provide you much stiffness um, and then as you bend this panel uh, normal to this to, to this w direction uh, then that that bending resistance is only coming from these weak barn lines right these barn lines so essentially your bending load is going um, so if you look at it this way it's it's going going kind of like that right so this is your load now along that direction you can see that the only the bond lines are, are resisting that bending now in, in case of a load that goes like that say like this way um, then that is the strong direction because your panel specimen is now going along the L direction and there's a continuous material going along that L direction therefore that allowable or that load that would be produced as an allowable load or a flexure allowable stress at the end of this uh, for this panel would be uh, the strong uh, flexure allowable stress along the strong L direction. So that's how these different uh, flexure allowables and even core shear uh, stress allowables are determined because uh, your L direction is the strong direction which has the continuous material and the W direction is the weak direction which is only held together by it has material but it is only held together by the bond lines really in that direction okay so we can cover these is in more detail as we get into the modeling process but this is just a summary of uh, how the uh, typical nomex panels are made and uh, we uh, will cover more in uh, subsequent videos or even in the paid membership videos so these guys are uh, typically used as you know in the aerospace industry in the airspace commercial aircraft interiors uh, very specifically in that industry it's very commonly used these kinds of panels and uh, they're also used in other industries uh, such as other applications such as military uh, rotorcrafts some high-end boats and yachts and things like that because they need them to be lightweight and strong uh, for high-end applications uh, where weight is also a, a big a concern so the strength needs to be high but the weight needs to be low so in those kinds of applications so um, there you go folks uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, uh, keep an eye out on the website for more awesome free videos like this and I will see you later